Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to another episode of Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy. I'm the creator of McCarthyMathAcademy.com, and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, I'm going to break down a fourth grade skill which involves decomposing numbers. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, so decomposing numbers. Decompose means to break down. So essentially what we're going to do is be taking these numbers that are written in standard form and we will break them down. It's a little bit different than expanded form. You'll see what I mean in just a second. But the very first thing that I know that we need to do, that I always do when it comes to decomposing numbers is to label the place value of my digits. So I have the digit two that's in the ones place, the digit seven is in the tens place, the four that's in the hundreds place, and those three are part of the ones period. The comma right here separates the period from the next one, which is the thousands period. Here we have the digit three that's in the one thousands place and the digit one that's in the ten thousands place. Groovy. Okay, so to read this number, it is 13,472. 13,472. That is not decomposing, that's just getting this number ready for us, okay? So now let's move to the decomposing element of this skill. What I'm gonna do is take this number and rewrite it up here, 13,472, and what I like to do is box the digits and just change up the way that I box. I box and then I write. You'll see what I mean. So for the first one, I'm actually going to box each individual digit and break it down. So in the first box, we have the digit one and that is in the 10 thousands place. So we have one 10 thousand plus we have three thousands plus we have four hundreds plus we have seven tens plus two ones. All right, and you might be thinking that's not so bad. That's the most simple way to go ahead and decompose this number. That's one way, make a little thing. But what we're going to do is try to fit as many different ways as we can on here. I might not even be able to get to all of them, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand what to do. So let's take this same number, 13,472, and I'm going to box up these digits differently. Watch, this time I'm gonna box up the digit, the ones and the three together. Let me box the four and the seven together and the two on its own. This is just totally random. I'm making it up right now. So the 13 right here, that 13, if we look at it, the 13, that three lands in the one thousands place. So we would say 13 thousands. Okay, so instead of one ten thousand and three thousands, we're grouping it together as 13 thousands and that's true. Plus, we have 47 tens. So instead of four hundreds and seven tens, we're grouping them together as 47 tens. Plus two is by itself and that is still in the ones place, so we'll say plus two ones. And that is another way to decompose this number. Let's keep going. We've got 13,472. This time I'm going to box the one on its own the three and the four together, and the 72 together. So now we have one, let me erase up here. So now we have one in the 10 thousands place, so one 10 thousand, plus we have 34 that lands in the hundreds place, so 34 hundreds, and plus our last one we have 72 that lands in the ones place, so 72 ones. Cool, so now we have three different ways that you can decompose this number. Let's do one more. Got 13,000, ooh, 472. Okay, this time I'm gonna go a little crazy and do 134 and 72 together. So looking at this, we have 134 lands in the hundreds place. So we simply write 134 hundreds. Plus we have 72 that lands in the ones place. So 72 ones. 
So there we have four different ways right there to decompose the number and you could create even more options. I hope this episode on decomposing numbers made sense to you. And if you're looking for even more support on tons of math skills, go ahead and stay tuned because I'm about to break down your next few steps that you can take. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for taking on the best, good news, taking on the fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.